been moving mountains long before we started long before we knew they could move you've been parting jordans calling us to walk them impossible is just what to do you're welcome to the moment of refreshing where the word of god is taught by anointed men of god please sit back and be a part of today's teaching the lord bless you we need the holy spirit to give us sound mind, to give us boldness, to give us the capacity to discipline ourselves during this period so that we can be able to achieve the purpose of God. I want you to know something, that all of this thing that is happening around you is working together for your good. I know all of us at the end of the day, we will sing the song of praise because the outcome of this season is going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. The next point is perseverance. In verse 20 of Philippians chapter 1, the word of God says, I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed, but we have sufficient courage so that now, as always, Christ will be exalted in my body, whether in life or by death. By the statement of Paul in this verse, you will see perseverance. The situation truly was bad for Paul. It was not a palatable situation. To put a man in prison for a long period of time, for just preaching the gospel, it wasn't palatable for him, but something helped him, and that was perseverance. And brethren, I want to encourage us that we need to persevere. Uh -uh. It doesn't matter your situation. Or maybe in that business. You have done everything you need to do. But the business is not advancing the way you desire. Only what you need to do is to persevere. In that place of work, upon all that you are contributing to that establishment, they are not appreciating you. And thereby, they are not giving you the incentive that will enable you to work better. I want you to persevere. Are you a student? It looks as if you have put all your best into that exam and you are not getting the result that you desire. And you are about to quit on that examination. I will encourage you. Please don't quit. Please persevere. I will tell you, there are many people in the world and that at a certain time in their life, they fail. But because they persevere, they were able to pick up their pieces again and they continue on their pursuit. You see them in president of nations who failed a presidential election for many times. But they tried another time and success. You see people in business world who were trying to make, uh, to bring about an invention. They failed many times. But what happened? They were able to start that all over again. You know, men like Joseph persevered. He was in prison for many years. But a time came in his life, he was lifted up. I want to encourage you, please don't give up on that business. Don't give up on that career. You just need to persevere. You need to put on courage. You know, to face that business again. Just have a, 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 a kind of time in whereby you retreat and then you go back to that business again. Thank you for joining us in today's Moment of Refreshing. We believe the Lord Almighty has ministered to you. Please join us same time next week via our social media platforms. The Lord bless you. You've been parting Jordans, calling us to walk them. Impossible is just what to do. If your promises are yes and amen, we say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And though our faith may fail, your word will prevail, we say yes.